What's the deal? It's Royalty Realty Associates. Today, I'm about to go to another networking event. This one is called the REI Meetup, and it's held in Woodstock, Georgia. And they got a special guest talking today, Abraham Gray. If you don't know about Abraham Gray, you better look him up, man. One of the best to do it down here in Georgia when it comes to real estate, running, buying businesses, business acquisition, and all that. So, you about to go check it out, get some game from one of the goats, do some networking, and show y'all how it go. You wanna ride? Let's go. One of the ways that I buy stuff um, is with creative financing. So up until like about a year ago, almost 80, 90% of the deals I buy were cash deals. And that's basically what everybody is used to, right? As a wholesaler, you're going to buy a deal, you're gonna lock it up, and you're probably gonna lock it up at 60, 70% of what it's worth, and then wholesale it and make, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, and you get lucky a whole lot more. Over the last, I would say, six to eight months, the market's gotten a lot tougher for people to lock up deals. And just to put in perspective, I was buying literally over 300 homes um, a year, and uh, so 30 homes a month. Over the last, I would say, six or eight months, I'm buying about 15 a month. So I, I buy about half. And it's not because I don't want to buy more, it's because there's just not enough good deals out there like there used to be. I have a lot of people come to my office, and um, wholesalers, and I teach them how to make money if you can't lock up deals at a good price. So the way I still tell everybody to do this is to go in there and try to buy a cash deal, and offer a cash deal to where you can wholesale it the way you know how to do it. I cheated my way to $100 million, that's the video. But it's true, like cheating is, is, is important. So this is what happens when you do a subject too, right? There's two different things that I gotta talk about. There's something called assuming a loan, and there's something called taking a loan over subject two. They're two separate things. So when you assume a loan, you're actually getting the, you're, they're actually putting it on your credit, you're getting a new loan with the bank, and you're assuming it, now everything's in your name. We don't, we don't do that. Like that, most loans aren't really assumable, like it's just a pain in the ass, at that point you have to pay closing costs again, everything else, it's just not as fun, and it goes on your credit. What we're talking about is taking over subject two. Taking over subject two, the credit, and everything stays in the person's name who had it in the first place. So everyone has to understand, we'll take a step back that every single time somebody owns a property, if they have a mortgage on it, there's two things on a mortgage. There's a deed, the deed shows who owns the property, and then there's a mortgage, the mortgage shows who owes money on the property. Last night my shawty asked me, can you stay? I told her I'm just out here handling business, babe. I'ma flip a brick and call it real estate. Put that on my daughter, need a bigger play. All right, y'all. So we just got back from the networking event in Woodstock. Abraham was dropping some real game at that event. Hopefully, we can do some deals together with Abraham. We do the wholesaling land and wholesaling homes. Matter of fact, join our Facebook group. It's called What's the Deal Real Estate Community. We in there finding deals, selling deals, networking, JVing, and making money together. So link is in the description. Make sure you join that. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and tap in, man. It's Royalty Realty Associates. Let's get it. I've been chasing after this chicken and that's all that's on my mental hustle. Early in the morning to the night, my n****.